The hunting instinct of early humans is a controversial subject. Many scientists have argued that our ancestors' urge to hunt and kill drove us to develop spears and axes and to evolve bigger and bigger brains in order to handle these increasingly complex weapons. Hunting has been a part of you know, human culture ever since humans have been around. They've been on the face of the earth at least 20,000 years ago. And the Native Americans that hunted on the same land that we hunt right now, they didn't hunt to go out there and enjoy the scenery. They hunted because they had to. They had to harvest animals to survive. Because it's only really in the last 100 years that our world has changed so dramatically. Before that, everyone hunted and lived off the land. When Teddy Roosevelt started the Boone and Crockett Club in 1887, that was at a time when wildlife in the North American continent was at its lowest numbers, absolutely lowest. Um, after Lewis and Clark came up the Missouri River and they went back home to St. Louis and the word spread out what they had seen out here, that's when the rush came out here to the Western states and that's when the decimation of wildlife populations took place. There were no seasons, no bag limits, um, and people just came out here and totally terribly abused the, um, the wildlife populations at that time. That concerned Theodore Roosevelt because when he finally realized what was going on and that nobody had any control of what was taking place, that's when he got together with some of his friends who were also hunters to sit down at the table and make some decisions on where, what can we do as hunters to protect wildlife and take it into the future. And the hunters stood up and said, you know what? This wildlife is too important to be commoditized to just this little market value. What can a buffalo tongue bring? What can a beautiful feather out of this big male heron bring? That's too superficial. This wildlife has a greater value than that, and we reject it. That is when conservation in America started, was in the late 1800s, when Theodore Roosevelt and a group of hunters got together and said, we're gonna change this. We believe that we can conserve and make a difference. And they did. 